Welcome back everybody. Have a look over here over this field. We start to see our, uh, our hard work come together. And right behind us is what's about to be some more episodes, I guess, of some really hard work. You can also see the mountains starting to come up there. Look at that. Actually, if I walk a little bit forward, we should hopefully, yeah, see, see it in all its glory. Coming along very, very nicely. But today what we're doing is we're getting started behind us over here on what we started in the last episode being the windmill project. And we're going to be taking a few things on this windmill a little bit differently to your average sort of uh, way you would look at the windmill. First of all, let's go let's go back and have a look at the very, very cool, I think, cool way of doing this. Uh, basically, I find a large amount of the time I end up missing out on on the really cool stuff that you, you, you could have with the windmill. For instance, you could have the interior pieces, which I tend to miss. I think a lot of people tend to miss, and it's, it's easy enough to do because you've got all this stuff to, to build. Yeah, once you've built it, you don't have space to build it. So what we're doing here is we're building this so we have the space around it so we don't have to worry about putting it in a bit later. That's the important part, you know, you got to think ahead of these things. And that was one of the things I realized I did pretty badly in the last one. So what I want to do here is I want to get started on the, the bottom piece of this, which really I've still got a bunch of stuff in my inventory that is kind of useless, but that's all right. Uh, what I want to do is I want to start getting on with the, the bottom part of this, which is really going to be almost like a barn. And it, I think it would make sense for a windmill to have something similar to, to a barn on it. Uh, being a place to store the wheat, be a place to, to pick up all the, all the flour that's been made and all that sort of stuff, I think it's quite important. So I think what we'll do is we'll get started with that. Let's check some heights out here. And I'll, I'll also kind of speak about what I think will be quite important to also getting this windmill to, to look good from afar because it's very important and and I'll say that not just because I think everything in this world is very important uh, but this has got a very special special reason to look good from afar and we have to consider it the whole time I think what I've done is I've actually yeah I've done that this is also by the way a neat little thing I've been been trying to work out a little bit recently is going ahead and leaving the corners like that and, and just using the corners to mess around with another block. Sometimes that's a, a cool, neat little trick to, to make sure your windows in buildings aren't actually next to a corner. Putting your supports spread out like that. So it sounds kind of weird, but imagine you just put a, a window in here. Your window won't be on a corner. Sometimes corner, if, if you know what I'm talking about, that could help you, I guess. If, if not, don't worry, I'm sure you'll, you'll probably come across it someday. But it's, it's just sometimes what happens is when you've got corner windows, uh, they become a bit difficult to to mess around with. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to get started on, on the doorway to this place. And I'll also ex explain what I've got over here. So going in here, this will be the entrance to the barn. You walk up, you can see there's grain, which we could be taking. We could be delivering some, well, this would actually be the flour, I guess. We could be delivering some grain to this place. We've got an area here to store it. Similar, actually, quite similar to the barn, of course. But we've got to have some, some practical reasons for it. Of course, we're going to have a different different design on the barn completely, which is pretty important, but you would want to store stuff like that. There would probably be some other stuff going on in here, which makes sense for us to have a bottom, which a lot of the time, I think when people build barns, myself included, uh, you end up forgetting that there's, oh, let me just do that. Uh, you end up forgetting that there's a whole bunch of other stuff that you, you really could be doing to make the barn a bit, the windmill, sorry, a bit more interesting than what it, it normally is. Cause I find normally you just end up doing a windmill. Actually, wait, I want these. Aren't these really facing the other way? Uh, you end up just doing the windmill base, but we really could be doing a lot more stuff with the windmill. Maybe something like that. There we go. One, two, three. How much does that leave us open? Yeah. I'm trying to do like a sliding barn door. I think that would look really neat. In fact, if we've done this one here, what makes sense would be to probably go ahead and make it on the outside so we can look like it's sliding behind the other one. Uh, but I think I think that's the thing. It's it, it could be cool to have a barn and a windmill combined and really just make it a little bit more different to to what you would normally have. And let oh what? no, what this mouse is driving me crazy. I'm telling you this now, guys. This this is going absolutely nuts on me, and, and my sensitivity is so so low. Uh, but that's all right. So we'll just start off with this. Uh, maybe something like that, that, and that. And of course, I know someone's going to tell me. Wait, wait for 1.13. We we're going to have ourselves some really really good. Uh, good blocks to work with here. Okay, this is not good. You see, the way the way these little handles are turning on the doors is what's the problem here. So if I can get that there, no. If I go on this side, does it do it? Still not, okay. I'm gonna have to trick this door into having the handle on the other side, like that. Okay, well, it did it automatically, perfect. All right, so if we can get this to look like that, there, 
And there, that should all, yep, all three go like that. We can go ahead and make some more. Uh, this could look like it's a door pushing behind another door. And I'll show you what I mean by that with the sliding door. But because I think it's, I think it could be a pretty cool idea. So if we put them in there and then we go around to the back here and we do that as well. Something like that. Maybe get rid of this one. It creates this little staggered effect. You see that there? And I think that could look really cool too, to just look like it's actually being, being held like that. In fact, can I do the same trick again, I guess, over here and, and put that in there? Wait, what? Okay, yeah, it's because of this door here. So there we go. Beautiful. All right, so these are the doors that I was planning on doing. Something like this, a little bit different. Hopefully this works. I, I don't actually know if this is going to work. It's just an idea I had for it. And uh, I think it's worthwhile trying. So if we do something like that, that, and that, and then we'll just pop them all, yeah, like that. And then we'll head over to this side here and we'll just do it as these, like that, to make them three, three tall, because really the two tall doors, yeah, they, they're not gonna work for barn doors. I think we can all agree on that. All right, that has not convinced me, but I think it could convince me when we get the 1.13 stuff. So what I wanna do, uh, because it's going night time, I'll get a lot of this bottom piece done because it's quite important. It's uh, it's just going to be kind of me just planning out walls. After a lot of wrestling with my mouse, I finally got this. This little piece out here. Now this is really just a starter. This is how we're going to be working, what we're going to be working from really. And it's, it's definitely not necessarily going to be this way when it's done. I just wanted to get a bit of a concept out. First of all, it's easier for you to see exactly what I'm trying to do. Besides that, it's also easy for me to see exactly what I'm trying to do. And that's a, that's a cool little, little tip to just think about. Just trying to get something there and then we can chisel it away, work it out. But overall, this barn is going to be a lot more simple in terms of the, the curves and the, the things we're doing with it in comparison to the one that's a bit further out this way. And I'll, this was actually, this is, well, this little piece here, I want to relate back to what I said in the beginning of it, of it meaning, having a, a good meaning from a distance. And I'll show you what I mean by that. And... Yeah, that, that's all going to be covered. Just bear that in mind. Uh, so from here, you can see this barn, a lot of stuff, a lot of detail, just little things sticking out. And we've also done something with doors here, trying to make this a little bit more interesting. Now, from a distance, let's go out to said distance, which is really where we expect this to be looked at. We don't necessarily expect people to go up, but I mean, people can go up. And that's, that's the cool thing. So from here, we don't want this to be too large. We want this to be obviously a windmill. But we also don't want it to be uh, a very overly detailed one. You can see we don't see a lot of detail from here. And when we start putting a lot of detail in at a distance, it starts just making it look very messy. So uh, what I want to do is I want to maybe make the shape a bit more important than the detail itself. So that is very important. Also, you can see this one is definitely shorter than this barn, but not actually that much. Uh, but it does give the illusion of it being further back, which is fantastic. We want this place to look as grand and as large as it can possibly be. So those are some important things to just consider while we're building this, because you may you may quickly think like, wait, this is looking very, very small. Compared to that, yes, compared to what we want it to look like, I think it's looking the perfect size right now, in fact. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've got this little piece on the side in here, which is going to be where you're going to be storing in your wheat and all that sort of stuff. Let me actually drop some of these down here right now. We don't we don't actually need to decorate this like this right now, but we may as well. We've got the got the stuff waiting for us. As well use it. There we go. Just something like that. It's, it's definitely going to change. Uh, but that just gives it a nice little piece to the side here to make it look a little bit more different, which is always welcomed, uh, of course. Uh, when, you, when you've got a very square or rectangle build, you want to try everything you can to make it look a little bit more interesting. So what I was trying to do here, and this is the, obviously the most trickiest bit out of, out of any build, is getting the roof to look good and that, that's always a bit of a struggle so what I want to do to start off the roof is to just go and get these these little bit more intricate or defining pieces done and ready so this front piece you can see we've gone ahead we've done some interesting stuff out the front here and I think that looks pretty good now from the sides we can also do the same thing or something similar not the exact same thing of course uh, but we want to do something similar make it a bit more interesting so we want to push out one block out from there and this is, this is one of my uh, simple ways of doing it, I guess, is going ahead, doing something like this. So we pull this out here, there, and get it just pretty much to a standard sort of angle. And then all I do is I just go ahead and drop those on top. Oh, like, sorry, there. And now you'll see from the front, 
Well, I mean, this, this is pretty bad with this tree in the way. Uh, but that little piece of roof actually does look pretty good. It's, uh, it's a pretty simple way of getting it to look quite quite good. And specifically in a small area, that's, uh, that's a, a difficult thing to do. So I think that's pretty important. Oh, snap. Almost almost got let down there by <laughs> by the mouse, but we made it we we got through it So let's do that there and do the same thing here And I'll show you just how just how simple it is really, but it's a, a neat little way of doing it if you just do something like that and then Of course, we're all out of these aren't we and I have put that <laughs> I did put that other crafting table down the bottom, but that's all right We'll, we'll make a third one because you can never have too many well really I, I think I actually do have too many but that's all right <laughs> We'll, we'll just carry on from it, we'll carry on with it like this. Okay, so there we go. And there, perfect. So now what we can do is we can just go ahead, either pull this down here or put it up that way. But the most important reason for doing that and putting these little pieces in to begin with is because the roof is going to now all just be pulled together. I'm just going to try and connect the roof together in every angle possible. And the important thing about that is specifically getting those pieces knocked out because you can't really mess around with it too much once the roof is actually on. Now, hopefully you can start seeing this piece coming together. Really, I think the big difference here, as per usual, has been just the ground changes overall, making the big, big difference. But we'll get into that right now. I'll quickly show you some of the cool things around here. And also, a, a cool little thing we're going to test out with this here, because this whole project from last episode where we were wor working from there onwards i've been doing a bit of a, a a plan at least we'll see how it turns out to do a cool little time lapse by the way you can see interiors not quite done we started messing around at the roof here a bit however i've come into a little bit of an issue with the roof uh being that we haven't yet done the central column that's going to be holding the holding the whole literal windmill up the the whole thing itself up over there so we've got to get that piece in before we can actually complete the roof in the middle so we'll we'll leave that to the side and come back to it a bit later but you can see at least it's going to be pretty much that wide and to be completely honest from this side that we were looking dead on it doesn't do it much justice but from this kind of an angle here you've got the path you've got all that that's all that's where it's really looking very very good so my cool plan with this area is in the in the next few episodes once we finish this area off that little piece I want to test out a cool little thing we can do for instance when we build a big area like the the whole field and we do some time lapses I'd like to do one mega time lapse of all the builds we've done and all of the all of the terraforming and stuff that we don't necessarily see in the video because there's a lot of cool stuff and it, you know, it normally looks pretty cool when you do it in like a super fast speed for some reason i mean i could i could make this whole field dirt place one grass block in the middle and i probably would find that a pretty enjoyable time lapse and i don't know if it's just me but there's something really satisfying about watching stuff happening like that uh so much faster than than uh than, than what you would normally see it i guess this it it's i guess the novelty factor of it so what I want to do with that is, of course, we'll, we'll do that as like a separate extra episode if we do get it right. And I think it'll be really cool. And if you're wondering, it's through the use of the replay mod that we're going to do that. Uh, but right now, what I, what I think is the thing that's really making the difference, because of course we're doing the barn for this, which is what we're doing today. And then we'll be doing the actual, I, I don't know what you'd call the tower of it, uh, separately. But I think what's made the big difference to this has been just adding in these little pieces here, the, the little bits of grass the the texturing to the ground uh, but my thought is this actually looks like it this looks pretty dark i'm wondering if there's water around here somewhere because that looks that looks awfully dark actually might just be wrong but uh it looks like perhaps that that oh yeah yeah those they they get stuck in that block there but that looks yeah maybe, maybe i'm just going crazy but yeah that that the idea is that this little bit here has really changed this area a lot and just adding in these little little bits of, of texture, I guess, in the ground, being the, the coarse dirt and the normal dirt as well. And also the grass, just playing around with it, pods all. That, that's made a big, big difference. So coming in from here, I want to also do this little flight over here because this is a neat little, little thing to see. So if we come around here and we'll stop, let's check if we can stop around there. Coming through this little valley here, we're going to have, obviously, this whole area is going to be a, a big valley. We're going to have another mountain on that side. And we're going to have a little funnel over here where the wind's going to be coming through to, of course, power the windmill. 
So what I want to do is have the, the crops working their way up the side there and working their way up there, but getting very, very sparse as you get through this area here. And another thing also you may be wondering, we did change the ground around there to fit this area in a little bit better. And I think it is definitely working a lot better than what it is. Well, it was in the beginning, but that, that was just a matter of us, a matter of us getting the building on and, uh, and getting that working for us. And yes, we will fix that. Do not fear. Now, another weird thing unrelated, I guess, to, oh man, these, these are actually pretty bad. I really should have brought a bit of, a bit of dirt with us, uh, but unrelated to this build, of course, uh, and more related to our channel. Uh, recently, I'm sure you're probably going to hear this many, many times from many, many people making many many videos uh is basically youtube has come around and uh told us exactly how the notification system works which is really not like a crazy thing and you may have heard this before but uh and and we've all kind of understood it the way it is but it's kind of just been been now formally i guess laid out and uh we we are aware of it uh basically the idea is i i often get this every now well often being pretty pretty regular actually to be honest uh where someone says that they my video didn't show up in a, in a notification or a subscription feed. And there's a pretty neat video on it, but to to be like completely quick and easy with it, there's there's the notification bell, which is next to the subscription button. If you guys don't know about that, that thing there will give you all the notifications. If ever you want to actually catch an episode or, or anything along those lines, those are the that's the thing that needs to be ticked. So just subscribing is a cool thing, but uh, it won't get you every notification. And sometimes I uh, I wonder about it getting the sub box, but that's that's a whole other story. Uh, but those are the sorts of things. If you guys do want to make sure you can catch the episodes, uh, it, it's pretty useful to find it. So that's just a little thing. I don't want to carry on about it because I'm sure you guys are going to hear it many, many times. Specifically because it, it's pretty fresh news right now, of course. And uh, yeah, you, you'll you'll hear about it for sure. So back to the build, of course. What my plan is for this area is to just go ahead and, and get this whole place covered off really, really nicely. And of course, we'll have to just wait because we don't have quite enough bone meal. I think this could actually be some of the last pieces of bone meal. I think I've got one stack of bone block left uh, for bone meal before we almost on our, our last little bit of bone before we have to AFK, which is going to be nuts. It's going to be crazy. So what I want to do here is I want to just go ahead and finish off a bit more of this area, get it tied in a bit better because it's good to bring you guys in in the middle so you know exactly what's uh, what's the stage that I'm going through. You know, build that, go to that. Now, there are a few things that I want to figure out before we go any further with this build, what we should be putting in here. So basically, ideas for what we would have in your general flour mill. Some place, for instance, to store the flour, a way of making, for instance, sacks of flour, like you would find, uh, just to lie around the place, just the smaller details, I guess, is what's going to be the difficult thing to add in here. I've also thought about different ways of trying to get a good gear, for instance, like a cog that looks like it's turning. Uh, I've, I've tried to come up with a few ideas for that. Nothing 100% good yet, but I've got a few ideas in a creative world. So if you guys have any clues, that would be very cool. That would be very cool to add in here, and uh, I'm sure there are some good ways to get it. But uh, I've been very busy with my, my diamond hoe over here, which, by the way, is uh, is kind of the best one you get now. I'm breaking three, mending. It's pretty crazy. I never thought I'd see the day where I needed this this many times, but uh, it's been mended up a fair few times, and it's still doing very, very well. The only thing that isn't doing too well, of course, is the crops themselves. They seem to be be taking their time, and that's just going to take a bit of time just to, to go ahead and do that. I'm going to have to AFK, probably AFK in one of these little silos, make them useful for, for something more than just storing the wheat itself. But overall, I think this area is definitely turning out very, very good. Like, looking at that, I can see this. I can picture this thing going up here with the, the windmill blades coming off. I think the blades, you guys are going to love. They're going to look very, very cool. But overall, just a few a few things have to, have to go in here. Some of the finer details would be cool to add in here. And of course, I'd love to hear you guys' ideas. I'd also like to hear you guys' ideas for the actual tower part of it as well. What we could be doing for that and how we could do the roof, for instance, would be awesome. Uh, but for today, I think we'll go ahead and call that an episode. I'm very, very glad with the way this has turned out. And uh, I'm very, very excited for what it's going to be looking like in the next episode. So thank you, everybody, for joining us along with this build. And I'll see you in the next one.